Yo, what up, what up? Um, we are looking at Shucky's Installed Emporium. Uh, this was requested. It's a uh, Dan Harkness Halloween uh, theme park video. I don't know what to expect, but, uh, you know, hey, I guess I'm going to look at something. I'm probably going to look at it. Chucky was one of those, uh, one of those first like caricature, caricatures, or uh, that that like really bothered me when I was growing up. I never got like super paranoid about anything scary, but Chucky was one of those that like hit hit the nerve, you know. So it's stand up. How the hell is everybody doing? Come doing all right? Yeah. Well, in case you don't know who I am, or you've had your head up your ass for the past 20 years, I'm Chucky. I used to be a master criminal, but then I got shot, and before I died, I inhabited this doll. And now I'm looking for a new body. Got any takers? Oh, you right there. Yeah, I see you, baby. What's your name? Yeah, you. You raised your hand up and you had fur on your armpits. You. Oh my God. Yeah, what's your name? Rudy. Nice. And what do you do for a living, Rudy? You. Oh, you're a designer. <laughs> well, how special for you. <laughs> and what things do you design? Houses. You. Oh, so you do office buildings. Well, that's oh, an houses. architect. It was. Learn what you do for a living. So you design buildings. Nice. So you must you must have some money then. Nice. And you're spending it here. Wow. So you got a lady? Where is she? Wait. Uh, no, I said a lady. Oh. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh. You, you need to shave it. I don't know what that is. Good Lord. I'm just kidding. What's your name, baby doll? Come on, Ruby's lady. What's your name? What is it, Daisy? Daisy? Your name is Daisy. Let me tell you, Daisy, you're not as fresh as a Daisy, all right? I can smell the cheese up here. You got some cheese on your taco, baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Good what did you link me, dude? Summer's Eve. It's in aisle nine. <laughs> Need to be using it all of the time. No, I guess, I guess you all you all took a couple there. Nice. That is wonderful. And what do you do for a living, Daisy? Okay, yeah, it is. Just stand up. You do what? Take the dick out of your mouth. I can't hear you. <laughs> no, Rudy's having a good time, but I'm trying to have a conversation. So what do you do, Daisy? You do nothing. You just sit on your ass at home all day. That's wow. a life. Well, congratulations. Yeah, no shit. You guys are a lot of fun. Who else we got around here? Oh, I see you waving. What's your name? Yeah, yes, you did what? <laughs> What's your name? Your name is Tony Quigley. You can really get away with a lot whenever you use this technique. Um, I actually read about this or learned about this when I was uh was when I was in my studies in uh, in college that uh. Whenever you dehumanize yourself, you can get away with things because you're not held to the same levels of decency as the rest of uh, as the rest of the folks. What kind of a hell name is Tony Quigley? Adds that level of fantasy. Is it like squiggly? Like, is that what you mean? Is it like so small you got two belly buttons? 
It should be Tony no Dickley. That's what it should be. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. You're young. It'll grow out. <laughs> Before you know it, you won't be pissing on your balls no more. <laughs> Poor Tony. He can't even break a Cheerio. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, it's coming. It doesn't matter. When you go home, you still be poor. You are so poor, you need to afford to eat your cereal to save milk. <laughs> Is that for you? Wait a second, how old are you? Thirteen? What the hell? Bro, you, you can you, you know that this this freaking video is old, man, because nowadays milk is like six bucks a fucking gallon. That shit is nuts. Space Dateline NBC Predator, get me out of here. <laughs> I learned my lesson last week. I had some 15-year-old go complain. I'm not talking to no children no more. Learn my lesson. Who else we got in the crowd here? Oh, wait a second. R right here, right here next to, next to no dickly over here. You got like those little red things on your head, the flashing. But, oh, I see. Horny, electronic. Uh, You're a dildo. Perfect. Oh, nice. That's wonderful. Of course, the bitch is so stupid. The first time she used one, she chipped her teeth. Jesus Christ, man. Not right. Nice. Who else we got in the crowd here? What is that a name? <laughs> I need your name. <laughs> Karina, I heard Karina. Where's Karina? Wave your hand, Karina. So everybody can see what a bitch looks like. <laughs> Good lord, you are fat, Karina. I bet after God damn. you smoke a turkey. <laughs> All right, all right, that was pretty good. She's got to use a satellite dish for a diaphragm. Good Lord. If you fell out of a tree, you'd go straight to hell. You are large. Are they all standing? That's a no, weird way to do comedy, man. It's a bad thing. I like the large girls. Because when you crawl up on top, your ears pop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was fucking good. If you're doing them doggy style, it's piggyback. Oh. <laughs> works at this stuff? Nobody. Yeah. Oh, I see your point. Yeah, you call your friend out in the middle of the crowd. What, what's the name of the person you're pointing at? Andrew. Nice. And what do you do? That dude's hat? God damn. I see somebody wearing that. I'm immediately gonna like that is how you get scammed, nice. man. That is how you become you a target. Here, you don't work, who you, point you just look at that guy, you're like, hey, that dude makes poor decisions. So, Andrew, what do you do? You go to school. What do you study? What is it, racial science? Racial science. Nice. I have no idea what the hell that is. Racial science. So you study like Latinos and, and the Africans and the uh, Irishmen, that's what you do? No, you don't do that. Yeah, you probably sit up your thumb up your ass all day, that's what you do. Nice, Andrew. Well, that was a waste of 15 seconds that these people can't get back. <laughs> Has anybody yeah? gone and seen some of the mazes? Have you gone and seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Have y'all seen, oh my God. I think Andrew's mom was the one sitting, drinking tea, watching television. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The rest of you go see the maze and you'll understand. I think she got baptized at SeaWorld, the bitch is so fat. God damn, bro. Good Lord. Well, you guys are probably wondering, what can't Chucky say? Well, there are rules. I can't say certain words. But you can. So I'll say the beginning of a word I can't say. And no say in way. Word I can't say, all right? No. No. Shit. Okay. What? What the hell did you just say? Ball balls. Is that a common swear? Shit balls. <laughs> shit balls. Shit balls. Uh, I've heard it. I've heard it a few times. Shit balls. Shit balls. Are you talking about she balls? I don't care what you got in your pants. Good lord, girl. That is nasty. I bet she doesn't even shave either. If I went 
It's a pleasure her. I find Chewbacca down there. That was the most replayed part. Uh, okay, I got you. It got me. Nasty girl. You got the shame bats. Let me, uh, let me ask you straight up. I don't know. Maybe she is. If I were to land my plane, would it be a smooth landing, or am I going to be hitting trees like the freaking Brazilian rainforest? <laughs> Come on, you got... Every guy likes it smooth, am I right? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. I can't say the word, but you can. Puss? Yeah, you can say it, but you still ain't getting any. <laughs> uh-uh. Say hello to Rosie and your five fingers. That's what you're going home with. Yeah, who else we got in the crowd here wants to talk to Chucky? Becky, I'm with a name. What's your name? You don't know your name. Look in your underwear. What's it say? <laughs> Marlene. That's a fat girl name. Marlene. Yeah, he he's, he's right, box. though. Well, I'm not even going to try to get on your girl. good side, girl. That would take two trains on a bus. Good Lord. Yeah, I'd probably have to roll you in flour just to find the wet spot. But when I did, all I'd have to do is slap the thigh and ride the wave in. <laughs> nice. What else we got around here? Ta what is it, Tatiana? Adriana? Gladiana. Oh, Gladiana. It's so Latino. Like half the people that work at this dump. Oh. Gladiana. What do you do for a living, baby? Where'd she go? Did she go down on somebody already? <laughs> Good lord, girl. Just because uh, you go down on somebody in a phone booth, it don't make you a call, girl. Kind of does. Oh, go ahead. Let her finish. She's obviously having a good time. Man. Can you do, do me a favor, though, Gladiano? Can you pick one shade of lipstick? My dick looks like a damn rainbow. <laughs> Good lord. Who else we got in the crowd here? Hugo? Sam? Liz! Liz? Liz? Where's Liz? Liz? Where is she? Good lord, you're skinny! Do your nipples touch? <laughs> Holy hell! What the fuck? You I've never heard us. that. I bet you could use chapstick for a deodorant. You are skinny. You don't even have an ass. Your back just ends. Holy lord. Nice. So who else we got around here? So let, let, let me get somebody way in the back that doesn't have a watch and know when the show starts. Rebecca! Rebecca! You have got the manliest voice I've ever heard, Rebecca. <laughs> Good Lord, lay off the steroids. Rebecca's having a case of road, or roid rage back then. So what do you do, Rebecca? Come on, sound off. You obviously got a pair on you. What do you do, Rebecca? Marine biologist. Marine biologist. Good Lord, Rebecca. I bet you could hump a whale. Marine biologist. And what exactly do you do? You go out and study plankton? You study sperm whales? Is that what you like? You ever been to Hawaii? Would you like me to draw the islands on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, yes, sir, I might have some more. <laughs> That's disgusting, Rudy. You're gross. <laughs> you got a lady right there. All right, who else we got around here? Oh, what, what was the name right here? Paul. How old are you, Paul? Yo, I ain't got to no preteen. Well, actually, you are preteen. Well, well I'll, I'll go ahead. I'll talk nice, though. I don't want you to get all upset. What do you do, Paul? I mean, you go to school, but, like, what do you do for fun? You play your guitar, so you do a lot of fingering. <laughs> nice, I bet you're very popular with the ladies. You got a girlfriend? Oh, Paul, let me school you on something. It's the rule of the jungle. Either you have a bitch, or you are a bitch. All right. That's one to grow on right there. <laughs> Paul, it's all right, buddy, you'll find somebody. Yeah, but save your breath. You'll need it to blow up your date tonight. <laughs> it's all right. And you got to clean those things. You just can't hear you use them. That's gross. Yeah. How about somebody over here? I 
send somebody over here. T Tim? Ken, it doesn't matter, you're still gay. <laughs> Ken, that is like one of the gayest names in the world. Do you get out of West Hollywood often? I mean, you know, wow, if your most notable tied your name is Barbie, don't talk about geography, it's, it's kind of hard to fight that. We don't want to get the Hawaiian Islands on us. So what do you do, Ken? Paramedic! Paramedic. Because you don't got a pair of nothing down there. Smooth like a Ken doll, aren't you? Yeah. So you're a paramedic. So people are dying right now while you're talking to a $29 puppy. <laughs> I feel so much better. How long you been a paramedic? Seven years. And you have a lady? You do? Is she here tonight? With oh, this oh, free Willy! Holy cow! Did she get her dresses made at the Tin and Awning Company? Bro. Good lord. I bet that bitch has to take off her pants just to get in her pockets. Man, I bet you went to the Freddy Krueger base and came out with an ass. This motherfucker just said, I bet she has to take off her pants to get in her pockets. That's fucked. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm watching this, 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 like, comedy show from, uh, Universal Studios. Somebody recommended it to me. This fuck, this fucking doll just said, he was talking about how fat this lady was. He said she had, she had to get out of her pants to get in her pockets. That's fucked. That is fucked. Application. <laughs> Lord, lady. So has anybody gone down and seen Jurassic Park in the dark? What? You, what what'd you say? It's just boring. And they, what the hell is that? It's the same damn ride they have every day of the week. They just turn the lights on. <laughs> what the hell? You can do that any day. Just do this. Oh. <laughs> uh, wasn't my idea. If it was up to me, every guy when they walked in would get their own go-go dancer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, have y'all seen the magic show? Oh, they got some dances in. Oh, just give me a minute. Oh. <laughs> well, listen, the I gotta fuck, bro. Give me some water, but listen. If anybody was offended by anything that I said, you can go up to customer service and complain, but you gotta give them the venue number. Let me get it for you. It's right. Here you go, you sons of bitches! <laughs> Alright, that was that was that was better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh yeah, that was pretty good. It had me worried there at the middle part when he was like, There are certain words that even I can't say, but you can. I was like, Man, I'm not gonna be able to post this. I'm not gonna be able to post this one. Nope, nope, no, nope, it, it recovered. It recovered well. I will uh I'll post the link in the description. This is from uh Dan Hartness. Uh, a couple years ago.